Adrian von Ziegler is one of the purest persons that there is. I love his music. I love his attitude. And uh, he looks just like an from somewhere else. So there are some links. I put links down to this video also, of course. And um, so you may have time to get to know if you don't know already. And um, everyone is free to use my music if cre credits are given. Who who is stupid enough to not give credits? Exceptions are if you want to use my music in something with commercial purpose, because you can get into trouble with Gemma if there is no written permissions from me. It lo it already happened several times and people even got sued without even my knowledge. So that's why you must request a written permission from me if your project is commercial for your own safety. But as far as YouTube goes, you can use my music for free even if you monetize your videos. Just give credits and you can use any song you want. This is just... wow. I'm not saying that musicians don't deserve money, because this person really deserves it. But there are people like me who are a bit poor, shall I say. So this is... I don't know. I love the attitude. And when I have money, I... yes. Let's not talk about money. Adrian von Ziegler and um, this video I would like to say I started uh, my day thinking that I would want to how uh, how one build itself I have thought many times with uh, addicts recovering addicts also and uh, I find it is <clears throat> we speak the same language should I say I have never used uh, only drugs that I have used are cigarettes and alcohol and uh, as a person who has brain damage, alcohol is not the best. No, I don't use uh, any cigarettes anymore, and uh, it's not a great idea to use any other drugs either, because nobody knows how they affect my brains. Uh, when we speak of soft versions of drugs as cannabis, it's no, no, no for me because it affects uh, brain's ability to sleep and sleep is the most important thing for me. So I tried to make some points here we have two hours to speak about my thoughts. How to build. So let's say my life started five years ago. And uh, I have to, I, and I also want to ask what I want to be, what, what I want to become. I supposedly have like 50 years to go, so 
I, I still have time, even with my brain damage. Um, I have studied several subjects in my life because I, I really love science and uh, studying and uh, one of the best places I have been in were in anthropology studies. Uh, I kind of like to use my um, that I am an outsider because of my childhood and brain damage to use it to study humans as a different species so to speak and um, I have lately used YouTube to study humans and at the same time because I happen to be a human I study myself I study what 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 it means to be a female, what it means to be a... I would like to know what it means to be a male, that, that is... And if someone knows what it means to be a female, please do tell. <laughs> I don't know. But I, I, am, I am interested about these subjects. And I follow several, several pages that I have marked here. And um, for me, I think as uh, uh, again and again uh, as a person who has brain damage, invalid, invalid brain damage that makes myself invalid person. I cannot make normal work. I cannot be in normal conversation. I cannot uh, meet people. I cannot have hobbies as normal people. My child uh, suffers it, I'm pretty sure, but she has other people to help her, so don't worry. Uh, and I am that kind of person who asks help when needed, so and search for help. Um, dieting, not not uh, as losing weight, but uh, what should I eat to maintain my ability to have a as as healthy brain as possible. Uh, eating is very important part of it, and. Uh, fat that's pretty pretty much there the fat D vitamin and perhaps B vitamins so me to be a vegetarian is not an uh, option uh, I need to eat uh, fish and uh, meat and cheese and uh, also, as we all perhaps know, your cut, cut, uh, and the uh, little part of your stomach where your poop is coming from. Sorry, my English. Uh, the, that that is kind of an, a second brain, so it's very important to uh, every time you eat. You should eat um, something that has. I know the words in Finnish. Kaura, ruista, oats, rai, don't know. And uh, it, it gives your stomach. The right amount of uh, fluids and uh, right amount of things to do. You should uh, 
drink water. Quite large amounts, three liters I have heard. And uh, and uh, the only only person who knows what's good for you is your body. There's nobody else that knows the secrets of how you feel good or, or better. And um, we have this only only one life. I don't have religion, sadly, so I, I don't believe in life after death, so... Mm. When I was in the state where they said I was uh, almost dead, I remember that I felt good. There was no hurry, there was no pain, there was no sadness. I heard people. I felt people and I knew there's nothing to worry about, there's no, no, no sadness, nothing bad thing to be. So I don't fear death, death at all. Dying, dying perhaps, but not death. Um, where am I? So I try to re grow myself because I want to be a woman, I want to be a mother, I want to be a female and such. So I follow some uh, hair uh, hair channels in YouTube because I like to play with hair. Uh, I don't follow any makeup ch uh, channels because uh, I don't like the idea of the chemicals, <laughs> you know, the hair colors are nothing but chemicals. But um, 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 it's just in this age of in this time where we destroy our oceans and we destroy our forests, makeup is something that is well. Uh, usually makeup uses palm oil and palm oil industry is the worst that there is perhaps okay there there are clothes in industry this this is from my mother who is now 70 years old this is from my mother who is again 70 years old and these are over 10 years old clothes so, but that, that, that does not make me a better person. I want to, I use these machines and I watch YouTube videos, so I am part of the problem, I know, but I try to make the world a better place. And I know the makeup is one of the worst and, uh, and um, clothes industry is perhaps the worst that there is where I am um, 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 um. though I have written here new philosophies so that means uh, I should listen with open ear people who have gone through uh, their own path and listen and um, one person that I follow with, with with love and respect is horse person Mia Lukke Nielsen and uh, of course Adrian von Siegler and um, what I have here Bear of the Fifth Column Revivra Ozyman, Ozzy, Ozzy Man reveals. Das Black, I love his touch. Sometimes I find his, uh, what he creates a bit offensive, <laughs> really, but... Gus Johnson, Mr. Atheist. Randy Rainbow, 
love, love, love. He he's just genius. Where I am, Contra points, just amazing person. Rachel Oates. Ah, oh, where I am. Uh, ask a mortician, more mortician, yes. Uh, then I like to watch top fives. Some spooky things there. Uh, as a person, I li like to watch Of Herbs and Altars, Cherry Wallis, Metamorphosis Rocks, Chance, Chance, Chan, sorry, I'm Finnish person, Chance Reviews. I love tattoo persons like Triacle Tats, Teresa Paytas. Emilia Fart, um, I like how they all all those people. I like how they bring from me different sites that I want to know more of. Um, uh, I I just wanted to start this video saying that I I have. Dirty humor. I have that kind of humor that makes me <laughs> not not be proud of myself, and uh, I I to laugh at yourself is not the healthiest thing in this world, but sometimes it is good to laugh at yourself, and with these uh, dirty jokes that are perhaps racist or misogynist or, or something like that. I laugh the most at the laugh that it made me the, the odd, stupid laugh that I felt first. I laugh at that and um, I know I'm not the wisest person in, in, in this world. So, sorry. I like odd things. I I laugh at odd things. I, but I respect people that have the brains and have the morals and such. Um. Watching my child. I remember what I could have been, the most dangerous thought that there is for everyone. And uh, I have uh, lost so many things in my life that I don't remember. I didn't had. Uh, my thoughts are not mine. I destroyed it with my anorexia. And uh, uh, I have missed so many things in this life. I know uh, that my fellow students went to parties and they went to all sorts of things and I didn't ha had any energy. So I had missed quite a lot, but that is something that I would like to put in the shell, uh, write something to there, and then take a new box and start to filling new things there. I have my aquariums. Uh, I have my plants, my chilies, I have my, well, I have my garden, I have my pond, pond, small lake, <laughs> sorry, I'm the Finnish person. I have berries, I have uh, fruit trees there, 
And perhaps I learned to play music, don't know. I like to sing, I like to create music, but I lack the skills, sadly. I know there are tons of tons of tons of good singers that I kind of envy a lot. Envy. <laughs> yes, I really do envy them. So I'm cave diving. I am that kind of person. I I I'm, I I fear small places. So I watch cave dive um, or caving videos from YouTube, and I love those. So am I a bit crazy person? Yes, I am. I want to recreate myself and I would like to not not that much to think what is wrong in this world and uh, try to focus what is right in me and build it forward as the new day door. Listen to Adrian Monsigla. Make your world a better place. Eat well. Bye.